do you think Evander Kane can fit into what the Edmonton Oilers have and what they're going to need when it comes to salary cap space? Yes. Yeah. Now, I don't know what that number is going to look like, but I think he proved to the entire hockey world that he is still a very, very, very good player. And not only just because of the scoring, but the way he plays, right? He was a, a real pain to play against. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if he's going to stay in Edmonton, and I know that he kind of addressed that, saying, you know, it's all up in the air. But I will say this. Uh, if he doesn't say there, somebody's going to get a really good, motivated hockey player. And... Uh, yeah, so the thank you, I, I think it was great. I, I think he did a lot for his uh, career uh, this year for would, the Oilers. I would agree with that. The, yeah. the one thing that, like, if I'm, an, if I'm a GM somewhere else, like, he played with some pretty good players. Now, sure I, did. Yeah. I, I know that he's a good player. I know he can score. Yeah. Um, and this tweet felt like it was a little bit of a goodbye. And some people were real interested when... Uh, Kevin Weeks came on the show yesterday mm -hmm. and said, in terms of money for a new Evander Kane deal, oh, uh, I saw might this start tweet. with a seven, yeah. might start with an eight, and then you know there were those out there. Zach Lang works for uh, uh, Oilers Nation, and then um, Mike Stevens said, any GM that gives eight million dollars average annual value in Evander Kane this offseason should be subjected to involuntary cognitive testing. Like, there's a lot of different opinions on what this player is, but. Like, in the playoffs, you need that player, so what's the value there? I don't know what that number is going to look yeah. like, but I do know there is a lot of hesitation when he was a free agent to leaving San Jose. Uh, would you sign him? And there's two different camps, right? Absolutely not. And yes, because he's still a good player. What he proved this year is clearly that he is a good player, not only in the playoffs, but also in the regular season. So you have to weigh, you know, there's a lot of rumors. Do you, do you hesitate in signing a guy because of rumors? Or, and I know there's some factual things yep. as well. Yep. But you know what? Uh, doesn't everybody deserve a, a you know, second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, whatever? Right. And I think he's proven, at least this year, and, and maybe you can, you can question whether or not he could do it over a long-term deal, sure. or however long-term this is. And I think that's a fair question. I would be question. concerned yeah. about that. Yeah, I think that would be a fair question. It would. Uh, but he proved this year that he stayed out of the trouble and he did that's what he right. needed to do. Yeah. There was no, oh, did he go to this? Did he do that? There was none of that. It was... Yeah. Look at what he's doing on the ice, and I think that's made his value kind of shoot up a lot. 100%. Yeah, and looking at the positive side yep, of things. Absolutely. Uh, if you were setting, this is a tough one, if you were setting odds on who will go furthest among the Canadian teams for next year, who would you make the favorite? Like, do you know, because the, right? the reason I asked the question is, I don't know what the answer to that is. No. The Oilers have some questions. Uh, the Calgary Flames look pretty damn good, mm -hmm. and then in a matter of four games, yeah. it kind of evaporated, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are what the Toronto Maple Leafs are. Do you think that there's Holy a favorite on who you think could go furthest next year or who has the ability to go the furthest next year? I think that, uh, you know, I'm not going to slam Mike Smith because I raved about him many, many times during these playoffs, but there were times uh, in this last round where he, they needed a big save from him, and he just didn't. Yeah. Um, he threw the puck away a few too many times in these playoffs for my liking, but if they were to get a, a, an upgrade in goal, then I'd lean towards the Oilers. Yeah. Um, but I, I have to say just the entire team as a whole, uh, and I'm not saying it because I cover the Flames a lot, they're a really good team.